Hello guys, uh, today um, we are going to show you how to set up uh, outlet pressure monitoring on an ATV630 drive. So as you can see we have an ATV630 drive over here. Uh, so I will take you step by step through the procedure. So um, the first thing you will need to do is you will need to go in complete settings and check what is the defined uh, system unit uh, of the drive. So in this case, as you can see, um, the pressure unit is set to 0 0.1 bar. You can go back and uh, then you need to go into pump monitoring. So basically, uh, outlet pressure monitoring is uh, used uh, along with the PID control or you can use it by itself uh, just to measure, just to uh, monitoring the outlet flow of the, of the pump. So you can go to outlet pressure monitoring set it to sensor you can uh, have a switch as well or you can have both at the same time we will select sensor um, you need to go and define uh, what analog input you will be using for the sensor feedback so in this case we can select analog input 2 so now you can see um, a few other options have appeared uh, like uh, AI2 sensor configuration, outlet pressure minimum level, maximum level, error delay time and the uh, error response uh, of the of the in case there is an error. So now first thing we need to go we need to go into the AI2 uh, sensor configuration and we need to define what is the type of feedback that uh, the transducer or the sensor will be sending to the feedback. So in uh, over here as you can see we have uh, it's pre-selected as a voltage but you can change it to current if you like and uh, um, set the ranges accordingly now you need to define what is the uh, minimum process level and maximum process level so this will be defined by the range of the of the the range of the transducer or the sensor uh, the pressure sensor that you will be using so as uh, as we checked before that the range is uh, uh, like uh, the unit is set to 0 0.1 bar and if you want to define a range of 100 bar then we need to set the AI2 process uh, to 1000. If you want to set uh, the range like up to a 10 bar in that case you will need to set the, set the process to, uh, to 100. So we can, uh, we can take it uh, as an example and we can set it up to, uh, to 100 and uh, we can we can uh, uh, show you how how you can trigger the uh, error based on the outlet pressure of the of the sensor so now uh, we are back into the into the outlet pressure monitoring menu and uh, you can see our um, levels are set to 20 bar 80 bar which is not in line with the with the range of the sensor so in this case we need to define um, the exact uh, uh, the exact value at which we will uh, we want our uh, drive to trip if there is a high high level in the pressure and if there is a low level in the pressure so we can define the low level as uh, as two bar we can define the high level as um, as eight bar so as you can see so we have defined this we can set up an error delay time it could be five seconds could range up to 999 seconds so you can set that up according to your application uh, the error response is set as ramp stop by default so we can leave it to that so now we can um, actually go into the display section and we can uh, we can go into application parameters and uh, here we can actually measure the outlet pressure um, as you can see the outlet pressure at the moment is showing as 4 bar so if I increase or decrease um, my analog input uh, input uh, reference uh, to the drive it will change the value of the pressure it will go up to a 10 bar as maximum and 0 bar as minimum as set in the AI2 sensor configuration now we can actually see whether the how the drive will respond in case there is an um, the, the pressure is uh, is decreases or increases above the threshold levels that we have set so now we have applied a run command to the drive so at the moment the pressure is uh, within the within the specified range so so it will uh, it will uh, work uh, totally fine so now if we decrease the level or the pressure you can see the red led the warning led has started blinking and right after five seconds the drive will trip with the with the low outlet pressure uh, fault 
so you can see that um, now in the same manner we can also see how it will uh, trip at a high pressure so if we apply the run command again and we go into the display section to monitor the value of the outlet pressure so at the moment it's set to 2.4 bar so as we define the upper threshold to 8 bar we can increase um, the setting um, we can increase the feedback above uh, 8 bar and now you can see the warning led has started blinking again and um, the drive will respond in the same manner and it will trip again so uh, this is uh, this is it. Uh, this is what we wanted to show you how to set up an outlet pressure monitoring on an ultra bar process drive.